This is guaranteed to change your life forever. Men who sleep five hours or less a night have much smaller testicles than those who sleep seven hours or more. And women who sleep five hours or less a night will also have such equivalent impairments in the female reproductive health. And this is caused by a lack of sleep. She just will not seem interested in sex and she will lose her drive from an early stage in the relationship or could be a bit further down the relationship. In addition, men who are habitually sleeping four to five hours a night will have a level of testosterone which is that of someone 10 years older than them. So a one or two hours lack of sleep over an extended period will age a man by a decade and that will be in terms of that critical aspect of health and wellness now as see if that is not enough if you end up having a couple that's trying to start a family and they're both underslept um, it's going to be that much more difficult to try and develop a genetic legacy in terms of having a child or children. Now, we do not want this for our kids and our grandchildren. And that's assuming that we are done having kids. Studies have shown that men with larger testicles produce more sperm and more testosterone. However, from around 35 years of age, life starts a downward spiral. Your testes atrophy your hormones get messed up, your life deteriorates, and we sit back and accept that as a natural cause of life. Not so. We need to change that narrative. We will be taking off our mask and engaging in what can save a life, even if it is just one life. So what are we talking and what are we covering today? I'm talking about a topic today that is very dear to my heart and very close to my balls. This will be an introduction to a subject matter that is considered a taboo to talk about in general parlance. Erectile dysfunction, low libido, and women having no or low sex drive doesn't get spoken about. Not only will a lack of sleep age you by a decade, there are unintended complexes caused by, uh, by having lack of quality sleep. Complexes such as heart diseases, kidney disease, obesity, diabetes, high cholesterol, high blood pressure, hypothyroidism, these are all metabolic syndromes. And of course, we can't forget anxiety and depression. In my own case, I suffered from hypogonadism. I also suffered from insulin resistance and as a consequence, I had abdominal obesity. In its simplest form, hypogonadism is the failure of the gonads to function properly and it is an early sign that you are suffering from low sex drive or you have low libido in both men and women or worse still, erectile dysfunction in men. As, as I mentioned, I suffered from all three. So my name is George Mashiko. Academically and professionally, I have no business talking about what you will hear me talk about in this podcast. I am not a medical doctor, not by any fat chance. However, one of my purpose in life is to make health and wellness as infectious as a disease. In my own case, in order to work on reversing erectile dysfunction and low self-drive, I developed and used censuses which ties in with all the solutions and the recommendations that we are going to give, the 10 of them. I cannot talk about censuses without first briefly mentioning Chinese entrepreneur Zhu Zue. It's his philosophy that gave me the confidence to build the censuses platform. Now I'm a diplomat. I'm an ambassador of censuses. I am so obsessed with it. And today we are using the slip pill. What is going to be a consequence of using the censuses toolbox kit is the fact that you will have what we call the morning woods otherwise called rock hard erections. That will be the end result you will get by using the toolbox kit. 
and by being prepared for a change in lifestyle for at least two years. Oh my, a good and old friend of mine, Dr. Wale Akiemi, he says it so well. He says, look around yourself and see. Thinking is free. Though people think they are thinking, they are not. This statement rocked me and sanguined quite well into my closing. So as we close with the permission of Dr. Wale Akiemi, men, take a break from this podcast. Slip your hands and check your testes. If your testicles are smaller than they should be, we've got good news for you. We are here to show you in this tribe how to fix that. We are sharing 10 recommendations that I used in our full podcast titled Fix Your Balls, Get Your Groove Back. Trust me, I used the 10. Now use them and your mind, your heart and your balls will thank you. Our recommendations will guarantee you early morning erections even in the absence of any physical stimulation. So that's it for me today. This is a shortened version of the Fix Your Balls, Get Your Groove Back podcast. This is a podcast where we are going to show you what 10 things you need to do, including quality sleep, so as to lengthen your life in a healthy state and using natural products only. Today is the 19th of April, 2021. We are laying a foundation and we have scheduled this foundation as a five-year project in itself. It is an audacious moonshot project and I'm called a a psychotic optimist. I take that as an absolute compliment because it is a transmissible and a very contagious disease. I need you to achieve this by catching on this optimism. We are building a library. If you want to cure your ED, your low sex drive and low libido, please do get Fix Your Balls, Get Your Groove Back podcast. The link will be in the description below. It is, I think it's going to be, it's a for the three minutes video. And the best part of it is where we list out the 10, 10 steps that I took that you need to take in order to fix your ED, low libido, or low sex drive. We hope that you support our podcast. We believe that you found this podcast helpful. If you you liked it, and if you like it, please do share this with others. Share the health with others. That's what I I like to call it, so that they can benefit as well. And please subscribe to my channel as I've got some really cool, provocative and more educational and relevant and exclusive podcasts coming out soon. Also, please do me a big favor. Please leave your comments and any questions below. As always, thank you for listening and have a healthy, a blessed a wealthy and a ball-filled day. God bless. Love you all.